Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Jimmy for dinner, and we are at Palm Beach International Airport. But we're not leaving. We're picking up somebody very, very special. <laughs> Look who it is. It's a man himself. <laughs> what's going on, man? Give me some skin. What's your number one favorite thing? What do you want to do while you're here? I would like to get redemption on the hog that I never got three years ago. This is not for catching minners. No, it is not. It's about five o'clock and we're heading down south. We're just a couple miles from the house we're going to. And if you look around, you see no flowers anywhere. Even the blooms and palms are all gone. It's from the iguanas. Thank you for your patience. Please proceed to the gate the caution. Have a good one. You too. Arrived. What's going on? People are freaking out over these iguanas. They're literally crawling through the... Uh... There's one right there, see? Oh, look on the house! Yeah, I already saw that. They're, they're coming up through the middle, and a lot of people that have moved down here from up north, they're not used to any type of reptile, so yeah. it completely freaks them out. It's like iguanophobia. So they're going, you're sitting there, like these people are literally there cooking dinner right now, and you can hear them scratching and coming through the roof, yeah. and they're tearing everything up, and we're just trying to get rid of them. Every time I come home, there's poop literally raining all down the front of the house onto the stoop here. You can smell it as soon as you get out of your car. Bought a red rider, tried to shoot it, I swear it laughs at me. And then it sits up here and I can look out my bathroom window and I feel like someone's staring at me. Look in the window, look out the window and they're there. Yeah. Not really. She yes. said to when she takes a shower, when they hear the water coming, that they go up and start yes. looking in the window. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so they are creepy. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like looking in the window at you. You're like, ah, I see you. You cannot have flowers. You cannot have anything that the iguanas want to eat. So we're going to figure out how to trap them. Literally, I just drew this up on a box in Home Depot. It's going to be four feet by four feet with one inch tall wire. What's your name? Oscar. Oscar? Yeah. Say hey to everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Do you have any idea of what you are building? Mm -hmm. Not yet? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do a little bit. <laughs> this is a scoop, folks. Right now, I guarantee you, he wants to make a trap that catches more than what I do. I just want to catch iguanas. He, on the other hand, wants to catch iguanas and beat me. What do you want to do, Kendall? Um, I'm, I think I'm going to pull out an air gun and just do it the quick way. <laughs> Let the good times roll, you guys. Each side is going to be approximately or exactly four feet. I went with a small mesh wire because I want to catch the little ones, big ones, all of them. Now just come here and hold this on that corner. Were you construction worker in your past life? Was not. <laughs> hey, we're having fun though, aren't we? Mm -hmm. That's my trap right there. It's got a door up top so you can put the bait in. It's got one funnel that we cut off. And I use small mesh like this so that if we get a uh, little iguanas, we catch them too, not just big ones. That's Austin's over here. He used chicken wire. Same thing, it's just a little bit lighter. He's got a funnel. And now, what do you think? We're about to find out. Scale of one to 10, what do you think? Um. <laughs> no we'll answer? Wait, we'll wait and see. What do you think? 10. A 10? Give me some skin. We just went with one hole, one funnel. We'll put bait in there, and then if the iguanas come, they can circle and then in. If we have a bunch of different funnels, that's also a bunch of ways out. Let's see how it works. Do you like mango? Well, yeah. Let's Watch this. No, we need it for the iguanas. No. Oh, yeah, for the iguanas, yeah. But for us, we need it for the right one. 
This is straight off the tree. Ooh. Hold your hand out. See how that is. That's good, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's so juicy. Mm. It's so good. Take this thing. Mm. Uh, take one to Sarah. She loves these mangoes. Do you like mangoes? Mm. Mm. You want me to get one? I need to get a towel for Robert. <laughs> Mm. They go on a bait. Mango. Like if we figure this out, it'll save millions and millions of dollars. So it all starts with one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's iguanas in their backyard all over. Look at them all, all the trees. That's not even big. They're all in the tree. <laughs> that's really not even that big. Hey. That's a pretty big one. That's a gigantic yeah. iguana. So now you guys walk around there. While you do that, me and Ken are going to grab the traps. This was just an idea. Dad, did we eat some of that? Huh? Did we eat some of that? Yeah, <laughs> that's part of our watermelon that we ate. <laughs> I'm funny. We actually went to our grandma's and cut it open for the guanas, but technically we started eating. Some I'm gonna food. give them some. Chum them up? Yeah. All right, you guys, it's been exactly one day, and I, am, I gotta admit, I'm super nervous. We got the traps out, and we'll see what happens. They're just chilling in the yard. Here, you can see oh. one. Robert, there's one right there. That's it, there's one in the trap that Look I can see. Look at them running. They're, they're all over here. The little babies. They're all around it. I don't think they can get in it. I, oh my goodness, I see an iguana over there that's so big, it's unbelievable. But now, we got one Jesus lizard. The traps didn't work. I thought they were gonna work, but the, they're not even eating the mangoes. They're eating all these flowers like this, and that lady, She's trying to save what she has left. This is a fringe painting. We see these all over the South Pacific. But they have a, a, a iguana here, a gigantic iguana that they call Terista Verde, which is the green terrace, and it is absolutely a menace. So our deal is we're gonna find him and all his friends and take him out. We're using the Umarex air gun. The traps didn't work. Let's see how the air gun works. A burst fast fire, it's a red dot. So wherever you see it, even in the thick brush, because these, these iguanas hide in the trees and they blend in so well. So our deal is find them, make the perfect shot, and out. There's one in the grass right there. Perfect. Oh, oh right there, right there. The great thing about this is these pellets are so light that they do the damage, plenty of damage, but they don't cause any collateral damage. This right here is what we're shooting. Pellet. That's what we're shooting right there. There's one up there. You can see him in the tree. He's blended in really well. Oh, I see his head. He's dead. He's dead. 
perfect shot. Right in the head, right in my, oh, here he comes. Dead as could be. Tree State Fury just came out. Hold on. Perfect. Yeah, the big one! Rob uh, really wants that iguana. Mm -hmm. We might uh, need to get some snorkel gear. Yeah. Scuba tank. Yeah. Huh? He like went that way. It looked like he was going across the. That, like, the biggest. That's Grandpa. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> oh, he's going. Oh, he's under. He's going under. All right, we just lost Rob. <laughs> He's in a hole! He's in a hole right here! Yeah, a lot of times the iguanas go down and they grab a hold of like a root or a branch or something and then just die. And then and they just stay there. He's right here! Just out here in the, in the canal swimming. And there's alligators in there. Oh, yeah. Like there's a lot of alligators around here. Oh, there's his foot. Wait, that's his foot. That's like a six footer. Unbelievable. Wow. I got water all up my nose. <laughs> uh oh, Rob's dying. That's exactly why the traps didn't work. Mm. Because it was too big. The, the iguanas tried getting in there, but they had no room. On they, There's no way that could get into the trap. Look at that thing. And that's with his tail nubbed off already. His tail would be longer. That's from fighting. Yeah. What do you think? I think he's big. He's as big as a raccoon. As a big boar raccoon. I'm gonna try to get the one. Osama Bin Laden, down! Get him! <laughs> All right, Rob's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Where's he at? He's right at your feet. <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know. It's all. Oh! I swear to God, he beat me! I swear to God! Oh my leg! He beat me on the leg! Unbelievable! Oh, he wasn't dead yet. He beat me right there on the leg. He's right there. <laughs> He's right there, He's I right see here, him. right here, right here, right here. Right in front of you. Right here, right here. Do you see him? Yeah, yeah I see right his in head. front of you. Close your eyes and we'll tell you if you're close. <laughs> How big is he? <laughs> That's Osama Biguana. <laughs> Son, if you wait, if you hesitate, you're too late. <laughs> you about got tail whipped upside the head. Come on, boy, you come with me. This is, I can, I can bear, this is all I can do, is barely pick these three up, and I cannot curl it, so it's at least, what, 80 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of iguanas. So the truth is, we don't wanna like, it's perfectly legal and the cops want us to do this. But people started chirping and, and I'm not that guy, Kendall's not that guy to, to cause a big deal. So uh, we've got these iguanas on ice. Now, we go clean them. So we are at our cleaning station and just for example, that's a big iguana. That's a big old iguana. For scale, that's a humongous iguana. And if you guys want, click on the video in the description below and you will see exactly how I clean this iguana. But hey, we can't put it in the regular video because it'll get demonetized. 
For that matter, we'll see you in the kitchen. Obviously, Sarah has been making uh, caramel apples with the girls. Yep. And then I have just a little bit of olive oil. About like that. And if you have noticed, someone gifted that to us. The oil thing. Yeah, they did. And we want this to be really hot. And all we're doing is putting this in here, trying to find a, a home for it. And all we're trying to do is we're trying to sear the outside. We're trying to take a bad situation, which are these things living down south, and turn them into something delicious. Look at that, look at the flavor. That just looks so good. And we just uh, are gonna take all this and throw it right in there. Then you add about a cup of, of stock. Take this, we're gonna go 15 minutes. Boom, it's on. That's the Instant Pot. It's gonna cook with pressure for 15 minutes and it's gonna break everything down. It's gonna cook with an intense pressure and make it very tender. We got something good coming your way. Always be very, very uh, patient and take very good care of that. This is all your meat. We're gonna strain this off in a strainer. Oh, it smells so good. It just pulls off the bone. And that's an iguana tail right there. It looks like an alligator tail, just like that. Hi. Mashed potatoes we're gonna put right in the center. A lot for you. We're gonna take our meat and put right on top of that. Then, you know as well as I do, the mangoes are good. We're putting mangoes right on top. There you go. And now, to make it look good and smell good. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna try it. Hey. Really good having you come down and be a part of my home, part of my family, and uh, we had a safe, fun mm -hmm. day. So close your eyes. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for all that you've provided for us. Thank you for letting us go out and have just a wonderful day. Please be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. What do you do? Eat every piece at once or how How you reckon? Hey, just, just, just eat it. Just win. Just win. Just win. The, the mango is so good. I want to see what you think. And when you mix it up with the mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and tender. Mm-hmm. How would you, like, what, everyone's going to ask us this at home. Is it really good? Is it? Yeah, it's really good. If you came over to the house and I just had this meal for you, yeah, and handed you, what would you say it tastes like? Mmm, I would think chicken leg. It tastes a lot like chicken leg. It's got a lot of flavor. It's got a little bit of chew, but no gaminess, no weird flavor at all. It's all think, good. Do you think the tail tastes different than the legs? Like it's a different kind of meat? Because on a turtle, it's it all different. Yeah. The tail is more white meat. The legs are more dark meat. But I would tell you this. I think it's very good. I would agree. I love the herbs. The herbs add aroma. Is it these? Yeah. That's rosemary and basil. Mm. Right out of the garden. Hey, if you've not already, please check out Kendall. He's an awesome young man. He has a great channel, and he's very, very entertaining. Kendall Gray, but that's all I got for tonight. Take care. God bless. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>